On the 21st and 22nd of August, Ian Knight, who's a pilot with the Royal Netherlands Air Force, posted a few pictures and videos of small diameter bomb, or SDB, being dropped from F-35. The video depicted an F-35A dropping a full load of eight SDBs. He mentions that 16 SDBs were launched in the test, eight from F-35A of Royal Netherlands Air Force and another eight from F-35A of U.S. Air Force. Viewers may note that Royal Netherlands Air Force is a partner in the F-35 program, has been extensively involved with the F-35's flight testing and optimization with aircraft and personnel operating out of Edwards Air Force Base for years. The Dutch Parliament approved an order for eight Lockheed Martin F-35As in March 2015, confirming the aircraft as the official replacement for the F-16 for the Royal Netherlands Air Force. The Netherlands may acquire up to 37 aircraft. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how GBU-39 small diameter bomb makes F-35 Lightning II a deadly adversary. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, which is a single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role fighter is undergoing final development and testing by the United States. The Pentagon began the F-35 program in 2001 with an aim to develop a cost-effective replacement for the U.S. military's F-15 fighters, F-16 and F-18 fighter bombers and reconnaissance aircraft, and A-10 close-in support warplanes. The F-35 has three main models the conventional takeoff and landing F-35A CTOL, the short takeoff and vertical landing F-35B STOVL, and the catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery carrier-based F-35C Catobar. Apart from the United States, the primary customer and financial backer, the United Kingdom, Italy, the Netherlands, Canada, Australia, Norway and Denmark are also part of the program. Many other nations like Japan and Israel are also deploying the fighters. These major partners, including the US, plan to acquire over 2,000 F-35s through 2035, which if delivered will make the F-35 one of the most numerous jet fighters. On the 2nd of August 2016, the US Air Force declared its first squadron of F-35A fighters combat ready. The fighter aircraft is expected to remain in service till 2050. F-35 being a fifth generation fighter is developed from the ground up to be stealthy. Its external structure is designed to deflect signals away from the emitting radar, which makes it hard to detect or track. This is done by having no sharp edges or protruding elements and having a smooth external curvature. Also, it has a coating of RAM, radar absorbing material, that reduces the number of signals getting reflected. Classified techniques have been used to reduce the heat signature of F-35. This thermal profile management of the jet makes it difficult for infrared, IR, homing missiles to target it. The F-35 has the lowest radar cross-section RCS of all fighter jets except F-22 Raptor. Against X-band radars, it's stealthy from the front and rear. Against S-band radar, it's stealthy from the narrow front aspect. Against L-band radar, the limited reduction is achieved from direct front. 
It is a very low observable LO platform in reality, unlike some of its so-called competitors. For example, Chinese Chengdu J20 got some criticism some time back. Indian pilots on Russian-made Su-30 MKIs from Indian airspace managed to detect and track the new Chinese jets when they were conducting flight training over Tibet. The disclosure didn't come from any independent analysts, but from an official source. Indian Air Force Commander Arup Shah said, The Sukhoi's radar can see them. The new Chinese jets are not so invisible after all. No special technology is required to detect the J-20 as it can be detected by ordinary radar stations. This has ignited debates that the J-20 is nothing more than a decorated 4 plus generation fighter. But in this mode, F-35 has limited weapons carriage capacity as everything has to be accommodated internally. This is where the GBU-39 small diameter bomb comes in. The GBU-39 small diameter bomb SDB, is a 250 pound or 110 kilogram precision guided glide bomb that's intended to provide aircraft with the ability to carry a higher number of more accurate bombs. Most aircraft carry these using BRU-61A rack. The small size of the bomb allows a single-strike aircraft to carry more of the munitions than is possible using currently available bomb units. The SDB carries approximately 36 pound or 16 kilogram of AFX-757 high explosive. It also has integrated diamondback type wings, which deploy after release, increasing the glide time and therefore the maximum range. Its size and accuracy make it an effective munition with less collateral damage. Warhead penetration is 1 meter, 3 foot 3 inches of steel reinforced concrete under 1 meter of earth and the fuse has electronic safe and fire ESAF cockpit selectable functions including air burst and delayed options. The SDB has a circular error probable CEP of 5 to 8 meters or 16 to 26 feet. CEP is reduced by updating differential GPS offsets prior to weapon release. These offsets are calculated using an SDB accuracy support infrastructure, consisting of three or more GPS receivers at fixed locations transmitting calculated location to a correlation station at the Theater Air Operations Center. The correlations are then transmitted by Link 16 to SDB equipped aircraft. The F-35 and the F-22, as well as fourth generation fighters, can leverage the GBU-39 for air to ground strikes. Also, SDB is suitable for future unmanned combat air vehicles UCAVs, especially the smaller ones because of the compact dimensions. F-35A's stealth characteristics enable it to penetrate deep inside enemy territories, and with SDB it could wreak havoc behind the enemy lines. For example, two to three F-35As carrying a full load of SDBs could take out almost all the aircraft sitting in a base or destroy air defense components guiding a high-value target. In 2002, while Boeing and Lockheed Martin were competing to develop the small-diameter bomb, Darlene A. Dryan, at the time Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition and Management, deleted the requirement for moving target engagement, which favored Boeing. She was later convicted of violating a conflict of interest statute. The GBU-39 has been operational for 14 years, and work is going on a new variant named GBU-57 SDB-2 Stormbreaker that can engage moving targets in any weather. It will incorporate a tri-mode seeker and a new data link, so radar, infrared homing and semi-active laser guidance will be added to the INS and GPS guidance pack of the original SDB. This will further enhance SDB and enable it to perform tasks such as close air support 
against moving ground targets and anti-ship attacks. F-35s have great situational awareness thanks to its sensor fusion capability, and this makes the fighter an excellent launch platform for the SDB. It's clear that SDB is a huge force multiplier for stealthy tactical aircraft like the F-35, which has very finite weapons carrying capabilities. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.